we couldn't even do the second operation of our parts because they mm. couldn't repeat within three thousands. So we threw all their stuff into the dumpster and brought all shunk in there, and we never had that problem again wow. afterwards. So it Very really speaks cool. to the quality of y'all's product. That's literally the best commercial for yeah. shunk, right? No <laughs> doubt, right? One of the best aerospace companies in the in the country, and bam. What we did is we created the biggest toolbox that is actually available in the market. You want to make good money? Then put the work in. Stop crying about it. Yep. You know what I mean? And yep. put the work in. You know, I was talking to Titan the other day, telling him how at General Atomics, we were using another company's uh, centric vices, and we couldn't even do the second operation of our parts because they mm. couldn't repeat within three thousands. Mm. So if you're trying to hold one thou true position, it's never going to happen. So we threw all their stuff into the dumpster and brought all shunk in there, and we never had that problem again wow. afterwards. So. It really Very, speaks that, to the quality of y'all's product. That's literally the best commercial for yeah. a shunk right yeah. there. No doubt, right? One of the best aerospace <laughs> companies in the in the country, and bam, yeah, shunk. Mm. That's fantastic. And yeah. part of that too, right? You look at the you guys. I think if I remember correctly, 1945 shunk was kind of created, born. Oh, absolutely, it was right after World War Second, being founded by Friedrich Schunk. Yeah, and then now it's the third generation running the company, and then yeah, it's beautiful. It's, totally it's completely family owned and it's also from the ownership from the leadership it is a perfect company to work for because they are really taking care and it will stay a family owned company that's a clear statement that's so great so you have the one facility that i visited that was you said two hundred thousand square feet right right and that's one of multiple facilities right. how many facilities like and I, like how many people in that facility and then how many people overall for all of Shunk worldwide, and how many facilities? Okay, so the facility you have seen is where we are taking care about work holding. So rotational work holding, stationary work holding, quick change pallet systems. There is a total, and, and there, there we are 550 employees actually, mm -hmm. and the total amount of facility of Shunk is eight facilities where we are producing and it's a total of three and a half thousand employees wow, that are incredible. working. Incredible. That's incredible. Incredible. So those that's kinda like your home base and I know you've put a lot of work into that facility that we're talking about. And uh so those five hundred employees, do they report to you or somebody under you or like how do, how does that structure work? Well of course we are having an organization. We yeah. we consider it to be a very flat organization. There is a production manager and of course a sales manager and, and financials and everything because it's a self-sufficient place. But it's a very flat structures. I guess you, you got that uh, when we walked through about how we know people and how they how they are acting and you said those you got those smiles in their faces. It's not that everybody is smiling every day. And uh, but anyway, it is a very flat organization and with short ways of making decisions. Nice. I wanted to kind of follow up on my question with the uh, entrance into the market, you know, because selling machine tools for the last 29 years, it seems to me, right? A lot of guys, when I first started in early 90s, it was vice work. It was put it, put a put a, you know, make some soft jaws, put a part in a vice, up one, up two, up three, whatever. Today, and I'd say mainly in the last maybe what five to seven years, work holding and quick changeover has taken a just enormous leap forward. And just it's all you see today, but it, it, it hasn't been that way for a long, long time. So, how did you guys go from 1945 introducing a product to let's just even say last decade, the, the enormous growth I would imagine you guys have seen. I guess one of the most important things is to listen to customers, right? Yeah, great call. And, and to try to understand the market. That's a reason of my visit in the US this week again. It is, I want to understand what are the needs in different countries awesome. and different styles of production and to take that feedback with me. Are customers happy? Are they seeing improvements that need to be done? Coming to your point, uh, if it comes to stationary work holding, what helped us is no longer looking at different solutions being isolated solutions. Like you said, okay, there is different types of vices, but it's just a vice. Yep. What we did is we created the biggest toolbox that is actually available in the market in that stationary work holding, really starting with 
if you're you know we we consider our range to be in between the table and the spindle yes that that's where we feel <laughs> comfortable great call. yeah so you know how to cover that it starts with a quick change pallet system on a table and then it needs to be easy to put things together yep. it should not be that you need dedicated parts for it afterwards and you need adapter plates to get that on it and that's something what what I guess is very nice about our toolbox that you can put magnets on. They are prepared for the pins for the rear S on it. You're putting our vices. You're putting on our tandem units on it. The the fluid driven ones that are used in automation so often, and it's just a puzzle to get that together without buying special stuff. And and therefore you are flexible because what you're that stuff is lasting quite long and you yeah. don't want to buy it for a for a job that that runs a year and then you don't know what to do with no you want to use it for those 10 years or even longer yep. and you want to reconfigure uh, your setups and and i guess that is when you were asking what changed over the years i guess that is something that really fits together yep. uh, quite well and then all the way up to automation you know if you're using that robot or that pallet storage system it is the same quick change pallet system we are using there yeah and it's the grippers we can we can offer that and if it's a good choice for the customer and the customer is satisfied then then we done right we have done right yeah. yeah, and that flexibility is super important, too, because a lot of the big companies that I've worked for, you know, they'll give us $20,000 tooling package for each machine. Mm -hmm. And so if we're buying 20 machines, you know, I want to make sure that what I buy for this machine I can use Fits. in the other ones. Yeah, so you got it. that versatility is yeah. really key. Absolutely. No, and that's a, you mentioned uh, hydraulic holders. Those have also, I mean, just become enormously popular. That is That was introduced to your product line when 1978 man i saw like, that's just crazy but Shang today you hear about them so much and you guys have had them for that long right i guess the the big push towards it is you know together with the carbide tools getting more performant than ever and for therefore sure. you need that high run out accuracy of course and you also need that dampening yes uh, that dampening quality of those hydraulic tool holders because they are preventing from tools getting micro breakouts mm -hmm. and enlarging tool life and that helps again the customer that's yeah. fantastic fantastic keith you were talking about like how now you see everybody wants like the vera systems everyone wants like mm -hmm. to automate and, and quick change and doing these different things but i think social media has a lot to do with it agreed because all these shops that used to be closing the boxes, now they're watching videos and watching other people do it. Yep. And they're learning from those other people. So they're like, oh, that's how they do it. We should do the same thing so we can actually like make some money and stuff. So yeah, no, 100%. Cool. We talked about that a little bit last night, right? The social media aspect of how people make decisions today is huge. And to see a product, you know, not every, I, I used to say this as a salesman all the time, you're stuck in these four walls every day, all day, right? So sometimes you can't venture out. I would always tell customers, let's go see some demos. Let's go see what other shops are doing. And people these days, so much more willing to share information. So you go into these shops and you know, it's accessible, but what is way accessible? It's what we see online these days, social media, the aspect of seeing what you guys can create, seeing that factory, oh, it, it, it does wonders for what people can kind of step outside of that box, get outside of those four walls and see what is changing out there. What are the, the amazing products that different people produce? It's, it's, it's great. Yeah, that's Absolutely. awesome. And if you're just going back, you know, to, to your point, Titan, and also yours, Keith, to your point, in the past it was what a gift it was and how blessed you are when somebody was opening the door to you and you yes. were able to travel and somebody was showing something to yes. you. Not too many people were allowed to do that. Yep. And if we are talking exp about experience, that is the accumulation of what we have seen, but also the mistakes we did, right? That's called experience, you I guess. And therefore, that is a totally different situation today. And therefore, it's a gift that, that you can check out all those things online, wherever you are. Completely. And brilliant. you can learn. And with your academy and everything, I mean, it is you are responsible if you are not doing it. Because it's all there, right? You got it. It's not you can't play. You can't claim anymore. Well, if I would see what you are seeing, I could do it better. 
bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> now you can. It's all there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we are in a pool no structure, and it is a, it is a. I'm considering it as being a huge gift. What is available online? Okay, yeah, that's awesome. People, no excuses. Back in the day, everybody's like, "That guy won't teach me," and "That guy won't teach right. me," and. I don't have an opportunity, but now with the deals we have on Mastercam and SolidWorks and Academy and the all the, like there's so many yeah. tutorials and it's so, just a wealth of knowledge. It's like, man, there's no excuses. There are none. It's hard work, grit, determination. Like you want it, go get it. Absolutely. You want to make good money, then put the work in. Stop crying about it. Yep. You know what I mean? And yep. put the work in. 